Previously on Big Brother, the brigade planned to backdoor Brendan or Rachel. One of them is going home this week. But at the veto competition, Brendan ruined the brigade's plan. Congratulations, Brendan. You have earned the power of veto. Leaving Kathy and Andrew on the chopping block. I have decided not to use the power of veto. Andrew discovered a secret romance between Hayden and Kristen. I am so attracted to you. Who do they think they're fooling Hayden and Kristen? In a last-ditch effort to save himself, Andrew outed the secret showmance. Is there someone else in this house that have a stronger relationship? It's a romantic relationship. It's Kristen and Hayden. But when the votes were revealed, it was Andrew who was outed from the house. Mazel tov to all. Good luck. At the head of household competition, Kristen targeted Rachel. Kristen picked the next two people to face off. Kathy and Rachel. Rachel and Reagan. And Rachel returned the favor. Rachel picked the next two to face off. Kristen and Lane. But in the end, oh. Rachel regained the power. Oh my God, oh my God. Congratulations. For the second time this season, you are the new head of household. Who will Rachel nominate for eviction? And tonight, Andrew lit the fuse that ignited a war of words. When you asked me, I said I wasn't sure. Because you know what? what? I don't know. It all happens now on Big Brother. I really just don't like when people try to mess with me. Okay, I'm in a rush. I have to talk fast. Um, everybody thought I was going after Brendan and Rachel. There's a reason why I wasn't. Is there someone else in this house that have a stronger relationship? It's a romantic relationship. It's Kristen and Hayden. You need help to get this relationship out. Sleeping at night, these guys would get together. Kristen would get into the bed. They would do massages. They're kissing. They're doing more. Oh my God. The worst thing I could have ever imagined happened. We were so careful to not be the second showman in the house. And it came out today. And it came out hard. You have to break up two alliances in this house. The difference is that these people are out. These two are not out. No way. This whole time I thought they were cousins. But now I found out they're kissing cousins. Enzo, you know, I can't say it because you're my friend, but the things they said about your intelligence was wrong. I'm here, I want to take them out. That's the reason why you need me in the house. You got to keep the votes. Captain Kosher out. Thank you very much, Julie. Everything was going perfectly. I had the brigade in my back pocket, Kristen wrapped around my finger, and Captain Kosher, he ruined my entire game. Now I'm gonna have to work my freaking tail off just to stay around for another week. How can you lie about that? I didn't lie, it's the truth. I wouldn't lie, there's nothing for me to lie about this. Are you kidding me? You're full of dude. Andrew drops a bomb on us right before we start voting, and while voting is taking process, all hell is completely breaking loose in the living room. I've defended you more than anybody in the house. I know, I'm not and saying you guys so turned on me. You put me under the bus because you're putting me under the bus knowing I was going against you. You're putting me under the bus knowing I was going against you. Your two are in a romantic Look, relationship. How, you're how hiding are we in a romantic relationship? Everybody watches what we do. They're upfront about it. You guys are not. I saw you, I've been hearing you. You know I was up the whole time I was up. Why would I be lying about this? Why would I lie? Because you're trying to go out with a bang. Okay. Yeah, you are. And I'm picking out the one person I care about is Hayden? I like Hayden. He's a great guy. Well, then what did I do wrong to you? You're, you're, you're manipulating everybody in this house. Bro, you're way better than that. You know it's it. not way better. I'm telling the no, honest no, you, truth. You're better than that, I'm man. I'm telling the honest truth. I know I'm walking out the door. I'm just you telling think everybody I'm else. You stupid enough to come here and try to have a showmance? I'm playing for half a million bucks. I understand. I got it. I've heard it. I was there. I was in the room. I wasn't sleeping for three nights. You guys were doing it in the beds, kissing, doing what? massages. <laughs> you are like each other. Whatever. I got it. You want to deny it? I don't mind. As long as everybody at least heard it from me. Let them decide on their own in the next few weeks. Andrew's throwing grenades left and right. Hayden and Kristen, maybe he started hooking up or who knows, you know? It was definitely bananas. By a vote of eight to zero, Andrew, you are evicted from the Big Brother house. 
Andrew, all your antics this week made everyone's decision easy. You're gone. I'm here. Thanks for keeping me in the house. Andrew is basically the third wheel in our relationship. So now it's just Rachel and I, and we are fighting the rest of the house. Miles is tough to walk. Good luck. Miles is tough. Bye, Andrew. Miles is tough. Wow, that was bananas, man. And then we have to go do a competition after this? Yes, <laughs> What just happened here? Andrew is outing Hayden and Kristen. This could definitely be a good thing for Brennan and I. Take the attention off of us and put it all on them. That is crazy. You hussy. Like, what are you thinking, dude? Who else is massaging in this house? <laughs> Me and Enzo cuddle more than anybody. <laughs> well, Hayden's in some hot water right now. Hayden's part of the brigade. I need to get the attention off Hayden and thus off of the brigade. I thought I'd be a part of it somehow. But don't get me wrong, I'd love for Kristen to give me a massage. <laughs> Captain Kosher, man. Rachel, the correct answer is H-O-H. Oh my God, oh my God. Congratulations, for the second time this season, you are the new head of household. Ah, I won! I cannot believe I just won another H-O-H. <laughs> Take your prize, kid. Oh my God. You did it. Congrats. My back was up against the wall. If I didn't pull this off, Brendan and I would have gone home. Congratulations. Are you kidding me? We cannot get these people out of the house. They are ridiculous. They are machines. They are fighting forces that I cannot explain right now. Floaters, you better grab a life vest. Kristen. Yeah, I'm such a floater. Really, what competitions have you won? During the HOH competition, Kristen clearly was targeting me. She obviously didn't want me to win HOH. What a bitch move, Kristen. And I heard you and Hayden making out last night. What, what? you guys what? all Why would you ever do lie? something so stupid you know in the lie. room with you? Why would I lie about that? You know you didn't hear us making out last night. You're yeah. making Hayden Why would we ever do that in the room with you? Hey, you got busted. It's okay. Let it go. We didn't get busted. Yeah. Wow. It's all right. No worries, guys. It's not a big deal. Why do you guys ever try to hide something? something? I think that we're Whatever. smart enough to not do it around you. Why? Because Cause you're so smart, Kristen. Yeah, Because you I have am. a fashion degree. Yeah. And you are because you have a chemistry degree. String a sentence together oh, without man. using the word like, will you? <laughs> I have been waiting a month for people to fight, pull hair, pull extensions, and I'm not even a religious person, but I have been praying for this moment. You have uh, zero common sense, zero. Oh, I have no common sense. Zero. Two HOHs, common sense. Exactly. Just because you won two out of four is not that big of a deal. Two HOHs, Kristen. You had just as much of a chance to win as I did, didn't you? Yeah, I did. And you lost them both. So what? It was fantastic. I just bought a ticket, I'm front row, and I want some popcorn, I want a Coke, I want to shh the guy next to me because I want to see everything happening. I never have said anything <sighs> bad about either one of you. Sure. And out of everybody in this house, sure. I was probably the last one up until That's recently. That's why you told her that you would put, if you were up, you would put us up. I'm just going to come out and say it. And I want you to be honest with me. If you won HOH this week, would you put me and Brendan up? I don't know what I would do. I don't think I would put you up. Exactly. I never said that. You totally when you said that to my me, face. When you asked me, I said I wasn't sure because you know what? what? I, I don't your love your cool attitude. I do Stop not your lie. Cool girl attitude and your little temper tantrums, Let's Kristen. Go. Telling me that you're not sure if you'll put me up or not, that means that I'm not safe. Sorry. Wow. Don't wow anything, Kristen. Baha, nominal. And the irony of them being in a boxing ring is not lost on me, okay? This was perfect. This target on my back just gets smaller and smaller with each comment. Why don't you grab a life vest because you're a floater and float on off because you're in dangerous waters, Kristen. I'm going to stay here and I'm going to get you guys. So. You're going to stay? Yeah. Really? Yeah, really? Watch. I'm going to make it my priority to get you out, Kristen. Okay. Rachel and Kristen are going at it. You know what? Give them some gloves. Give them some mud, some jello. Throw it all in there. Let's have some fun, man. I'm so sick of you, Kristen, and your lies and your fakeness and everything that you have, all this game you're trying to run on everyone. Yeah, I'm, I'm scared. I have this key, I'm and scared. that means I get to make nominations. Okay. Thanks for making my mind up for me. Rachel is a complete hoe bag. Seriously, girl, you are straight up jealous of me, and you have been since day one. You won. That's it. You won. <laughs> Just let it go. And Kathy's giving them hugs. I thought you were my friend too, Kathy. I am your friend, Rachel. Apparently you're not. 
Kathy was hugging Kristen and Hayden like they're her best friends in the world. She's clearly showing what side she's on. I'm not gonna pick friends in this house. I love all of y'all. Let's get along, okay? And do what's right. I'll never get along with her. There's no doubt about that. Kristen specifically told me she was gonna put us up. Well, you said that to me. I said I wasn't sure what I was gonna do because you did every not day, say that. I swear on my mother's life, I said that. Oh, why don't you throw your water? Why Seriously? don't you throw a temper tantrum? Because that is a straight up lie. Let's just stay far away. I do want to watch, but no, it's crazy. That was Ha <laughs> so the claws have come out. Two girls fighting at each other. This couldn't be better for me personally. I mean, people don't even know I'm in the house at this point and I am sitting pretty safe as can be. I cannot believe it. I was expecting drama, nothing like this. I said I wasn't sure what I'd do because I'm not a liar. Kristen, you're the one that is the liar. I can't believe I won. Oh my God. I know, I can't believe you blew up. <laughs> oh, they hate me so much right now. <sighs> Brennan, like, that was so intense. Yeah, I know. You did very good. I'm gonna be the biggest bitch this week that Big Brother No, no, has no, ever no, seen. you don't want to, come on. Oh yes. Brennan, I am so tired of people coming after us and we have to fight every day. I agree. <laughs> Do you understand, like, I'm shaking because yeah. it's so crazy. Yeah. I'm so <laughs> proud of you. I'm so proud of you. I feel embarrassed, though. It's like we got two left feet, every one of us. <laughs> we can't do anything, right? The best thing happened, though, like, he's up with Kristen. Not the Kristen. Oh. Yeah. I don't think so, no. no. He would have said that. Yeah. Well, we'll have to save Hayden and fight another day, dude. We gotta get Kristen out of here so Hayden can get his head back into the game and the brigade can start running things again. Are Hayden and Kristen uh, going in the, in the bed together now? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's out in the open. Yeah, why not? Yeah. Why not? I thought you were yeah. I'm sorry if I said anything up there that offended you. Because that's not me. It was a heated moment. I know, it was a heated moment. And the problem is, Hayden, is that Kristen, I'm really upset right now with her because she's so mean. Like, me and Brennan, if we didn't win this week, we were going to go home. And, like, I knew that you and Kristen liked each other, and that's fine, but Look. when you guys, like, throw me and Brendan under the bus, Kristen straight up told me she was gonna put us up. You put me and Brendan up next to each other. You say you're our friend, and then you put us up next to each other. Okay, I did, yeah. I apologize to Rachel. The purpose was damage control. She's the HOH, man. I need her to, to like me. I don't wanna be on the block. If I can stay here another week, that's gonna be great. For one, you know you didn't hear us making out last night because I didn't. totally heard something. You are you sure it was a makeout session? No. I know you're not because we didn't make out. I mean, and then you tell the whole house that we were when we weren't. I mean I think Kristen's great. She's a great girl. But I'm not here for a showman or anything of that nature. So if, if you put me on the block, it's Kristen, whatever, I understand. Um Hayden is lying to me. I know they were making out. He's just trying to save his own butt. So, I, I, again, I just want to apologize. No, it's your decision and I respect it. Sorry. It's okay, it's not your fault. What? I feel like it is. How? Because remember I real good. I'm just so mad that I didn't she talked to Rachel. Yeah. What did she say to her? I just apologize for what I 
toss that out there. Hey, Kristen, before we say anything, I'm sure we need to talk, but I just want to apologize for heat of the moment and whatever. It wasn't heat of the moment. I don't accept your apology. And I think that you attacked me and said lies. Um, I, I just feel like it was complete bull what you did. I extended an olive branch and you threw it in my face. Are you kidding me? Wrong move, biatch. Apology not accepted and it's never going to be. What is Kristen thinking? Rachel comes in to apologize and she blows up on her. You're gonna screw us both. Rachel's coming up to her and talking. Oh, she's here. She's like, she's like, she's like, I'm in the middle of the tight day. There's almost no one knows what I was cooking. If Hayden wants to get a little nookie on the side, that's fine by me. But if it interferes with the brigade, we have a problem. Everybody's been good. Keep the mouth shut. Of course. I know, Chris. No, no, Chris. You could have said it today. Are you gonna go up there? No. Hey! Oh. She's not coming? Oh, really? It nauseates me so, so much to know that Rachel is HOH for a second time. I didn't want to be a part of it. Is this everyone? First she won't accept my apology and then she refuses to come to my HOH room? Does she realize who won HOH and who's in power here? Me! Hey! Oh! 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 Oh!
America. Do you want to impact the Big Brother game? A new saboteur may be unleashed on the Big Brother house, and this time, you get to choose who it will be. If Pandora's box is opened, the house guest with the most votes will be given an offer to become the new saboteur for the next two weeks. The power's in your hands, America. Text the number of the house guest you would like to see become the new saboteur to 81818. It's $1 per text message vote. Text 1 for Brendan, 2 for Brittany, 3 for Enzo, 4 for Hayden, 5 for Kathy, 6 for Kristen, 7 for Lane, 8 for Matt, 9 for Rachel, or 10 for Reagan. Tune in Sunday night, August 8th at 8, 7 central to see how it all plays out. Maximum 10 text message votes. If the person with the most votes is evicted, the person with the next most votes will be given the offer to become the saboteur. If the house guest declines the offer, if the head of household doesn't open Pandora's box, there will not be a saboteur from this vote. For free online voting, go to cbs.com slash bigbrother. Votes will be accepted until 11.59 p.m. Pacific time, Wednesday, August 4th. Damn! Wow! Rachel looks smoky in her cop outfit. It's weird because I had this dream last night. <laughs> Hello, Big Brother house guests. Stop screaming, okay? Just shut up. We're in the walls right now. We are in the walls. You can't see us, but we can see you in the walls. What? We can see you in the walls. Where? Where are you, where are you guys at? You may be wondering why we're in the Big Brother house. It's because some of you guys are gonna get a chance to check out our new movie, The Other Guys, which premieres August 6th, so here's a sneak peek. You gotta be kidding me, man. Nobody fights crime like these guys. <laughs> Somebody call 91 Holy. <laughs> And then there's the other guys. Stop humming that song. We've got a possible jumper. Oh, we got a second jumper. Oh, look, he's flying. <laughs> it's a wooden gun. Oh! When Dooku got back up, I come strong and then you come in. Got it. You want to talk to me? Bad cop, bad cop. <laughs> the other guys. Oh, awesome. God, oh. you were doing that trailer. I felt I felt great. Wow. Yeah. I felt pretty masculine. I'm, now, if you want to see our <laughs> hilarious new movie, <laughs> hilarious new movie. I mean, right. Hilarious. I mean, we shouldn't be saying that ourselves, but maybe you'll think it's hilarious. Hopefully, you will. You're gonna have to earn it. Win today's luxury competition, and guess what? How we You're do. in. Ooh, put That's on right. your gear put and head out gear. to the backyard. Put on Good your luck, gear. house guests. Make sure you put on your gear, though. The movie looks hysterical. Will Ferrell is, like, ridiculously hilarious. I want to watch the movie so bad. We've been isolated from society for like a month now. Seeing that movie trailer was exciting. I can't even imagine what, would, what it would be like to see the entire film. So you heard them. Break up into teams of three, grab your gear, and meet me in the backyard. Woo! <laughs> 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 When I walk outside, I'm as happy as a pig in mud because I can see crime scene tape, police cars, obstacles, everything that just makes me smile. It was my little world in the Big Brother house. <laughs> Who's ready to hit the streets? Woo! Have a look at the mean streets of the Big Brother backyard. In this high speed chase, start at the speed bumps, stay on course and finish by crashing your car into the bus. The team that finishes with the fastest time will win a private screening of the other guys. If you want to see the other guys, then you got to beat the other guys. Who's ready to roll on the Big Brother Cop Course? I want to win so bad, especially this week 
If I can escape here and go watch Marky Mark do his thing, anything to take my mind off what's happening in the house is a blessing at this point. Red team, you're up first. Everyone else, wait inside for your turn. Red team, ready, set, go! The object of this competition is we have to get through this obstacle course as fast as possible. Brittany and Matt might as well jump on my back and enjoy the ride because the mule is in front so the little calves can just hold on while I plow through everything. Oh, oh, you got it, you got it, you got it. Down, down, you got down, it. Down. Up, 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 up. up. It's completely miserable being the caboose of this car because I can't see anything. I'm the shortest person, I'm in the very back. I don't know when to expect the things that are popping up and I'm just trying to keep up and stay on top of my feet. So we're good, we're good, we're good. So I see the car wash up ahead, I'm like, awesome, I haven't even taken a shower yet today. Could wash some of my matte funk off of me, get cleaned off, make it to the end looking good. Go, go! <laughs> I think we did as good as we could do, dude. That was awesome. That was good, you guys. Good. We didn't fall at Yay! all. Yay! We did real good. Guys, it's so awesome. Yay! I'm fine even losing that, dude. Yellow team, are you ready? I am so determined to win this competition. I want to rub it in Rachel and Brendan's face. Turn the sirens on, because Kristen's coming through. Ready, set, go! Big bump. Big bump. Hold on, let me get these straps for you, Megan. Okay, lift up the back as you go through. Okay, we're going up. Whoa. I'm a deputy sheriff. I'm not used to riding in the back of the patrol car. I'm used to driving it. Don't forget to look down, Kathy. Slow. Whoa. Whoa. Oh! Okay, knees. knees. It's better with knees. Whenever Kathy is on your team, it's like that movie Weekend from Bernie's. Hold on. So you're just carrying around a dead body through the competition. Left, right, left, right. Oh. Turn it, turn it. The car wash reminds me of foam parties that I used to go to in college, except um, back then I definitely wasn't strapped to two women. However, I would end the night in a police car. Good job, guys! Good job! <laughs> Green team, ready, set, go! And I'm on the green team with Enzo and Brendan. Three dudes got testosterone going, got the adrenaline pump, and we know we have it in the bag. Get down, get down low, get down low. Get down low. Get down low. Get down low. Keep it going, keep it going. Come on, come on. Trust me, being in the cop car, don't like it. I want to get through this course as fast as possible. Speed up, over, over, speed up. Go, 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 go. We're barreling through this course like uh, some gangsters off a bank heist. You ain't catching me, man. Stand up, stand up, stand up. <laughs> is right up on me. Hips to cheeks. I don't normally find myself in this type of a position. <laughs> Especially a 32 year old dude, he's married. It's like, come on Enzo. That guy loves to cuddle. We killed it! We killed it! What the hell's the music? Great job everyone. Let's see who gets to see the other guys. Red team, you had a time of 52 seconds. Wow. Yellow team, let's see what your time was. Two minutes and 18 seconds. Great job, yellow team. Green team, in order to beat the other guys, you'll have to beat 52 seconds. Let's see what your time was. 40 seconds! Oh! 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 Good job! Good 
I knew we won. There was no way about it. Have the other teams make our popcorn for us. I was money today. There was nothing taking me down. They were lucky that it wasn't an HOH today because I was going to take that down too. Oh my God. That's awesome. Congratulations, green team. You will be seeing the other guys. Nice. Yeah. And because I'm the HOH, I'll be attending the screening as well. Yay. I can't tell you how excited I am. I get to finally take my girl on a date. I've never got to make out with Rachel in a movie, so I'm pretty much looking forward to it. That was so crazy. A lot of people here are not even playing the game. Like Kristen, she's not, she's just trying, she's playing, yeah, and the only game that she's playing is the cool, the cool girl, girl game, yeah, the cool girl game. She totally hates and, us, and why does she hate me? What did I do? People like Kristen, who just aren't trying, drive me crazy. She just thinks she's so cool, but she's not doing anything. She's so too cool for She's us. so too cool for us. Her skin glows so much more than Oh, I know. Rachel. Well, because her makeup's so much better. <laughs> Probably the last thing I want to do right now is be in the bath with Rachel, but I got to make sure I'm safe for next week, so bubble up. Okay, how many times are we going to have to hear how naturally curly her hair is? Oh my god. And then she goes and curls it in the bath. I know. She's Buddhist, astrologist, Zen, and what else? Anything else that she could be to impress a boy or to try to be like the, the coolest, girl, coolest girl, alive. girl alive. Yeah. Cool girls like to wear their pants higher oh, than totally. regular girls. Of course. Just like how we're not cool enough to meditate in the mornings. Mm -mm, we're not cool enough to meditate. Cool girls. girls don't take bubble baths. They don't take bubble baths with other girls. Mm -hmm. They're way too cool for that. Oh, and they so don't independent. need friends. No. And they don't need boyfriends. No. Yet they attach themselves to one boy who's friends with everyone. I cannot stand Kristen. Newsflash Kristen, now you're the girl that's gonna go home. Do you want anything to eat? No. I know I have a target on my back because I'm friends with Kristen, so I do have to talk to Rachel in order to do some damage control. Um, I don't know what you're thinking. I know you told me before that you wouldn't put me up if you won. I don't know if you're thinking that. I'd appreciate it if you didn't. I've already struggled enough, Rachel. I mean, I really have. And I want to be here, and I need to be here. Um, you know, what, what happens between you and Kristen, that's something that you and Kristen have to settle. But I don't want to be punished for supporting, you know, her if she's having a bad day. And I'm not a floater. That really bothers me if I'm called a floater because I'm not floating. And, and I think I've proven that when I voted against Matt for attacking y'all. And I got put on the block for it. I'm going out for floaters, and if you're playing both sides of the house, then you're a floater. I just would want to make sure that you wouldn't put Brennan and I up. You mean a lot to me, Rach. You mean a lot to me, too. I'm not a threat to you, too. If anything, I could be a vote in the jury house for you, too. You gonna talk to him, girl? No. I should. I, mean, I, I don't want to be like everybody else in this house and kiss the HOH's ass. I think the best thing for me to do is take a stand. Didn't you come here to win? I mean, if you want me to talk to them, I will. But I feel like I'll be giving in to exactly what they want me to do. Yeah, but this is a game. You just, you gotta relax. Like, I want you to stay in the house. You go home this week, I will kill myself. I don't want to go home. We gotta make it out of this week. Okay? Mm hmm Hey, hey. How are you doing? All right. Um, I just came up to say, you know, I, I this is a game. We both said mean stuff to one another. I don't expect an apology from you. 
I was one of the people in this house who was never gunning after you and Brendan, and I think that you know that. Kristen, you specifically told me. I never said I was gonna put you guys up. Yeah, you did. I said, I know what the house wants, and I said, I have a mind of my own, and you know that I said that. Kristen, that is not ex at all how you said it or how I took it, because. Well, then you took it a different way, because I've never wanted to go after you and Brendan, ever. I can't stand this bitch, she's so difficult to talk to, and I can't stand that she thinks I'm kissing her ass. But I hope that she thinks that I'm sincere and will consider keeping me off the block. You probably already know what you want to do. I respect I that. I mean, I honestly don't know what I want to do, and this sucks so bad because, like, we were friends. And I then never I turned feel like on you. you. I never wanted anything more than for us to just be friends and make it to the end together because I think that we deserve it. It's a game, and I, like, I'm not good at the emotional part of it. Like, I have probably way too many emotions toward people. You have to also remember, I'm a very rational person. So whatever you do for me or against me, I'm gonna take into huge consideration. I, and I think you know what I mean. I do know what you mean. You've been Kristen forever. Yeah, well, because I wasn't sure if I even wanted to put Kristen up. Oh, wow. She played the emotional card and you're falling for it? If you're doing nominees right now, you, you, what are you going to do if you don't put up Kristen? Like I don't know. Do I put up Hayden? Do I put up Kathy? Because Kathy will go home and Kristen will stay. Yeah, that's a good possibility. Rachel calls out Hayden and Kristen in front of the entire house, and then she tells me that she's not even sure who she's gonna put up. I mean, seriously, Rachel, come on, what are you thinking? One of my duties as head of household is to nominate two people for eviction. I'm just hoping Rachel doesn't call my name today. Best case scenario here, Kristen goes on the block against Kathy. That would be ideal because no matter what, I'm safe and we got a chance to save Kristen. I'm 99.9% .9 sure I'm going up. Hopefully Hayden and I aren't up together and I'm just going to fight to stay here. I'm assuming that I have a good chance on going up due to my relationship with Kristen. I'm afraid I'm gonna be an innocent bystander taking a bullet over a stupid cat fight. This nomination is so important and I could potentially piss a lot of people off. I don't want to miss out on an opportunity to get someone out of this house that is going to come after Brendan and I. This game is so hard. Hey everyone, it's time for the nomination ceremony. This is the nomination ceremony. One of my duties as head of household is to nominate two people for eviction. I will pull the first key, that person is safe, and they will pull the next key, and so on and so forth. Brendan, you are safe from eviction. Thank you, Rachel. Brittany, you are safe from eviction. Thanks, Rachel. Reagan, you're safe. Thank you, Rachel. Lane, you are safe. Thank you, Rachel.
Enzo, you're safe. Thank you, Rachel. Go Jets. Matt, you are safe. Thanks, Rach. Ted, you are safe. Thank you, Rachel. I have nominated you, Kristen, and you, Hayden, for eviction. I fight every day to be here. And frankly, I haven't seen you two fighting. Furthermore, you grinding for me and Brendan. So bring it on. This nomination ceremony is adjourned. You want me to bring it on, Rachel? Well, I'm going to bring it. So be careful what you wish for. It sucks being up against Kristen. I don't want to see her go home. I want to see her stay for a long, long time. But I have to do what's best for me. I'm going to kick, scream, scratch, scrape. Anything I can do to, to guarantee I'm here for another week. Hayden better not mess up this good thing we got going for the brigade. Whatever Kristen is to him, his sister, girlfriend, boyfriend, I don't know. Just get rid of it, Hayden. Rachel, why can't you play nice? I mean, seriously, it's just... I don't know what you're thinking right now. People are going to keep gunning for us if you keep up on this power trip. I really hope that Kristen goes. I want my enemy out of this house. I have to win this veto. To keep the nominations the same, there is no other option. Who will win the power of veto? And will they use it to save either Hayden or Kristen from eviction? Find out Wednesday at 8, 7 central on Big Brother.